I'm making this video to show off a new core for the Mr. FPGA and uh, it's getting some updates for the AO486 core that enables um, level 2 cache for it. Uh, actually I think it's both level 1 and level 2 cache it's getting. Uh, it seems it didn't have, have even level 1 before. Um, but either way uh, level 2 cache is what's going to make the difference for it. And um, it's still a beta core yet so it might have a few if issues and it's not released but um, but it was shared on the forums and uh, one of the changes is this setting that you can set the the speed of it a bit like having a tur turbo button back in the day but you can actually uh, because you can do this at runtime um, there is something strange about it though that uh, when you have it set to more than 30 hertz games seems to generally not be able to detect um, the sound uh, the music hardware for it or maybe it's sound overall but uh, I think it's mainly the music hardware so we can see it like this um, and we enter the sound setup oh and that's another thing for some reason uh, my my capture device doesn't seem to capture HMI audio I'm not sure if that's to do with the mister or my capture device. So I'm uh, actually recording the music through speakers connected directly to the mister FPGA. But yeah, see right now the music is working, but when we set this 200 hertz, I think even 56 hertz is actually enough. Um, could not detect FN chip. And that seems to be the case with Doom and several other games. It can use sound effects. Only the sense channel seems to be working. I'm not sure why that is. Um, but when we do lower this to 30 hertz, let's try 56 just to see. This is working. Oh, uh oh. And still cannot detect FN chip. 30 hertz though. And the familiar intro tune is theme tune, theme song is playing. So that's a bit strange. Uh, I think they have a um, I think they have some kind of reasoning for why that is, is like this, but uh, but yeah, the workaround is simply to set it to 30 hertz, launch the game, because um, I guess we could actually test that here. Then simply change it to 100 hertz, and it's still working as long as uh, it went de being detected. It uh, it runs at 30 megahertz. Um, let's set it back to 30. Can you actually hear the change in speed? Yeah, it actually is slower at fi 15 hertz. But yeah, let's keep it at 30 for now. And um, I will launch the game. And this actually takes a bit to uh, takes a while to launch because it um, it's doing all the loading stuff. So I'll just uh, pause it just for a bit. And now it's closer to starting up. Um. And it's still running at 30 megahertz. And once the music starts playing,
we should be able to put it back to 100 hertz and just play the game. I guess there's a chance they might have fixed this when they released this core officially. Um, hard to say. But some seem to mention that it might actually have been a problem with some of the original hardware as well. Um, now, it is running a bit slow here. And um, I think it might be because this demo is showing underwater stuff. But uh, the game itself seems to run quite well actually. Seems to run very well. For the fun of it, let's just go check the mirror as well. best keyboard to be playing with uh, but but it's just for testing So I'm running um, I'm running it with a setup that's using uh, Windows 98 as uh, the DOS source because Windows, the Windows 98 version of DOS had um, FAT32 support, so I can use four gigabyte disks instead of just um, 
I think it's 500 megabytes or uh, wait one one gigabyte uh, maybe it's 500 or megabyte or one gigabyte the other disk sizes are um, so I have some games I'm going to try for it I tried Quake but as a, as a readme file saying here uh, let's see readme Maybe it wasn't this quick version. It might have been this one. Yes. <coughs> and uh, it says the minimum requirements are a Pentium processor or better. And I think all Pentium processors had FPU, which is mentioned. Um, Hmm, I actually didn't try the video mode part. Maybe I should try that. Uh, set up. Um. Isn't there a search function? Search is seven. Wasn't it FPU? Pretty sure it was called FPU. Uh, otherwise, I'm certain it was referring to it as floating point. So I'll search for float. Hmm. I guess maybe it's not this file then. Oh, it's right there. I guess the search function just doesn't work for this. So, Quake requires floating point processor systems that does not have FPU installed will not run Quake at all. And I'm pretty sure that's why it doesn't run because when I try when you try to run Quake here, it uh, it just stops. Um, and uh, you have to reset. But uh, but Duke Nukem runs pretty well. I haven't tried Blood yet, but I'm going to try some other games here as well. Um, whoops. This was... So yeah, Duke Nukem, Screamer I'm going to try, Blood and Magic. Blood and Magic is a game I've often used for testing DOS, at least on uh, the Raspberry Pi with DOSBox. And yes, to be safe. Um, so... So, so far so good. And unlike before, it has to be playing the music before setting up the megahertz.
I'll just pause the video until it's done loading, since it'll probably take some time again. And I wonder if it has the intro. Well, that doesn't sound good. Oh wait, it's still running at 30 hertz, so I guess that's actually fine. I uh, really should connect an actual mouse for this game. Much better. Ah, oh, it has the intro. so good. Running it in DustBox on the Raspberry Pi 3 for example, unless I set it to the correct settings, it had really a lot of trouble playing this intro uh, without a lot of stuttering and such. Um, oh wait, was it? It's version 1.0. I actually tried the game in in PCEM, the emulator on the on Win for Windows 10 or Windows in general. That uh, emulates a full computer, and uh, and I could install my full version of the game uh, from its original CD and everything. Um, and I found while playing through the game that it actually has a some problems in this version that's fixed in version 1.01 I think it is or it's or maybe it's 1.1 yeah I think it's actually 1.1 and um, and it fixes some issues oh you actually click around in the demo so this is running at full speed it seems Oh yes, and this is uh, the GOG version. The same with Duke. The, it's the Duke Nukem version from GOG. So I just copied all the non-DOSBox files and even a few more. There are some links and such here that will probably try to use DOSBox to run it and some DOSBox configurations. Um, so it's the same with this and I haven't tried it yet, so it'll be interesting to see how it handles. Let's try setup first. Oh. Yes. Uh, this core does not support Super VGA like the previous core didn't, but the core that is about to be released, it sounds like it might actually get Visa support. So that would be pretty awesome because games like this requires it. So next I guess we have Dark Forces. Let's see set up. And if it's anything like everything else, 
so far. It will probably not have audio working. Hmm. This doesn't look right. Does not seem to have anything working. Well, now we can see the boot sequence uh, this setup has. If it boots. Sometimes you have to reset it twice because there are no reasons. So yeah, I have uh, Windows 98 with games and I have a second one that's also 4 gigabyte. That's actually the same image that I just copied and then removed everything and uh, copied new games to it. Um, and now it finally works. For some reason it needed to be done three times. And it shows this uh, Windows 98 boot screen. Uh, and it actually happens very really fast when it sets to 100 megahertz. Um, I have changed the, cover, the boot sequence a bit so it uh, uses um, it uses Fordos, which uh, helps do stuff like I can click up and see that I've used NC as a command before. Also, another reason to use um, to use Windows 98 as the way to run it is I actually get a lot more conventional memory. Look at uh, it's 623 conventional memory. That's a uh, that's not something you regularly get at all in uh, in DOS 6.222. And it has a... Uh, hmm, that's interesting. I think it has 260 megabytes of total XMS memory. But 32 being EMS. Hmm. Pretty sure it's only 128 giga, 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 uh, megabytes RAM it has instead of 260. That's maybe an, a problem of some kind, but so far it's working. There are a few games that has a trouble with too much RAM, like uh, Aladdin Hyfred is is pretty hard to get running uh, when it has too much RAM. But you can use something that just uses up the RAM and and it should work. There's something called Eat EMS or something that will remove all the RAM that's not needed. I'm not sure. Maybe there's also uh, you can just put it in the settings that it shouldn't create that much RAM. Um, this is my config, um, and this part is actually pretty important with the frame stuff and such because it. Um, it dictates where where to locate all the RAM, where to put it uh, in the physical addresses of the memory. And without this, it uh, just doesn't work for the mister. I don't remember where I found found the code for it, but that's how I have set it up. Mm. Fordos is a freeware that I just downloaded from a website they have and um, let's see let's just have a look at my auto access as well SB MIDI should it might help run MIDI stuff I'm not sure if uh, what it really is it's just part of uh, a Sound Blaster Pro driver package I found um, CT mouse is pretty commonly found, I think, for DOS stuff. I have some ISO tools for uh, emulating CD drives. Uh, I've made a path for GW, which, you, GW, which is Game Wizard, and uh, for DOS and for Norton Commander, which is the program I'm running now. Uh, it's using Smart Driver, 
which uh, apparently makes it faster at using the hard disk give, uh, add some cache for it or something and otherwise it's uh, it's the original uh, blaster settings using some blaster pro drivers and the the code pages um, right here is is for um, how to see does you can set up how many lines it should have and so on But uh, other stuff, let's see. Death Rally is a game I doubt will actually work. Let's make sure it's set to. Yeah, it's 30 hertz. Set up. And. Strange. It doesn't actually let you test the sound. I wonder if I remembered correctly. Loading sound and music effects. That seems promising. Nope. I probably did something wrong with the sound setup. Try this and and we'll try again. I'm pretty sure it's not considered a Windows 95 shell when when you're running Windows 98 does because uh, I think the shell is when you run the command prompt inside Windows 95 or Windows 98. So it should work like this. Um, Let's try the standard settings. Whoops. <laughs> hmm. I'm pretty sure it has to be IRQ five. Yeah, it failed faster now. Mm, maybe this one's not right. Let's actually check. Um, it must be this file. Or I guess it's this file. Twenty twenty IQ five DMA one T four whatever T is. So 
2020, IQ5, DMA1. That should actually work. Mm. I guess one more try. Because there's a chance it might work with this. I wonder where there are two of those. Both running Sound Blaster Pro. Please run. Nope. Okay. But I guess that means the game should be able to run if we disable the audio. In which case we should be able to just set it to 100 hertz right away. Mm, maybe not. Ah. Oh, damn it. Well, it also requires Super VGA and it seems I have set it to run it several times now. Let's uh, just restart it. Um, but that's maybe all the games I wanted to try for now. Mm. Actually Syndicate Wars could be interesting to try as well. It's a full 3D game so Let's see how it handles. Wait, there is, if I remember correctly, yes. And there might be something that has to be changed in this file. WG. Hmm. I think I will try it without that. So I'll just run the main. And it's still at 30 megahertz.
maybe I should pause. No, here we go. Come with some audio so I can... Oh no. That doesn't look good. Oh yeah, it's uh, Settlers 2 Gold, this one. That could be fun to try as well. And this is uh, Terminator Future Shock, Descent, Blackthorn, um, Elder Scrolls, Daggerfall, Pit Lamb, Blood. It says Aliens, but it's uh, Aliens Alien Trilogy. Um, and uh, Albion. And what was it? Play. Uh, but I have a feeling it will have the same issue. I wonder if it's because this game also uses FPU like um, Quake does. But it should be able to run on a 66 megahertz, 486. But that is a uh, 66 megahertz 486 DX, and I think DX is, um, refers to it having FPU maybe compared to SX. Moment of truth. Uh, yeah. Could also be. Possibly this version of the game. I'm not sure why I got it, but it wasn't the DOG version, so maybe I should try that next. Oh, Settlers 2, that probably requires Super VGA as well. So I'll just skip that and. Mm. Pretty sure this one requires Super VGA as well. Let's just try it. Yep. So if we do get an update with that supports this, then uh, whoa. Uh, I hope it won't keep running like this. Sound card not responding. I am a th 30 hertz. Okay. Let's see, no sound, and maybe the README memory requirements, yes. Uh, it requires XMS, we have that. And I am using Smart Driver. Uh, 
Ah, yeah, it supports two player mode if you have two mouth. Ah, uh, there it is. It supports. And we don't have that, so it won't be able to play. Mm, system shock. There's no readme. Oh, there's a readme. Texture maps, speaking of memory. High memory audio. Well, it doesn't actually mention requiring Super VJ, but let's try this first. Whoops, misclick. There we go. Installs the game. Is that actually a thing? Oh. Well. Uh, that's a good question. What folder was I in? I'm used to a different key setup and this is, I think it's a US setup and I'm not used to that. Um, and it was Fut System Shock, I think that was S Shock. Maybe it already finished. Doesn't seem like it did anything. Mm. Let's just see what happens.
probably doesn't have sound, but it'll still be interesting to see if it runs. <laughs> that sucks. As a hacker, I don't think you would want it to say remain where you are. So he's captured and taken to the space station. I didn't expect this version of the game to have the full intro. Mm. So I want to see the in-game stuff. And it is loading. Uh, did I actually crank it up yet? Nope. Since there's no audio, I'll just do this. Uh, that seems to have helped. Uh, lots of controls. Uh, is this? Is it using the mouse or something? I'm not sure how the controls work, but the game seems to run pretty well. Uh, there's not no lag or anything. It just needs to be installed probably. Mm. What else to try? There was uh, yeah, Daggerfall. Oh wait. Let's do this just to be safe. For tomorrow you sail for the kingdom. Awesome. And that was everything. Set up install full dagger. Hmm. What to run? Yeah, no CD pad like that. Since we don't use the CD. Oh, the Eros Zero. Well, what does this file actually do? Hmm. C conf. interesting because that's not the correct folder so I'll just move the move it so yeah the little screw games had uh, Elder Scrolls Arena, I guess, was the first game, and then Elder Scrolls Daggerfall as the second game, which is then can seems to be in the files called Arena Two. Um, and then I think Morrowind was the third Elder Scrolls game. 
and then Oblivion as the fourth and Skyrim as the fifth. But Daggerfall was actually the largest of the games in terms of how big the actual maps in the game were. And it's uh, it's considered to be having some pretty high requirements, but it should run in DOS, and um, if it can run on the mist, I think that would be pretty great. But since this is taking a while, I'll just pause it for a bit, and um, I'll start it again when I'm ready to run it. And now it has finished copying. Better set the speed down again. I noticed that copying files also goes as a small bit faster, a little bit faster when setting it to 100, 100 megahertz instead of just 30 megahertz. could have probably just edited the file instead of moving the whole game. was better than before. That wasn't music, so I'll not. So I'll keep it at 30 megahertz for now. Hmm. Oh yeah, and that's uh, one of the things. This this game is actually so big that it contains. 
places like Morrowind and Skyrim. Um, and Oblivion was in the Imperial Province, maybe? I'm not completely sure. I think it was the Imperial Province. Um, but it was called Oblivion because of demons or something. Demon dimension. Um, so let's try Skyrim. So I guess I'll be a Nord and And we'll just answer some questions. So something about two friends buying the same daggers, and you borrow your f and you put out the money for your friend because he uh, and he'll pay back later. But there's a notch in your blade, and the the one you selected. And then he asks you to watch his weapon for him while he runs an errand. And uh, the choice is to switch the daggers or. And we can return to the weapon shop and demand a refund. We can switch the daggers, or we can. And uh, switch it with his knowledge, justifying the fact that you paid for them. Hmm. I don't know. I guess we'll take A. And yeah, we just have to see if it runs the game itself, so I'll just press some things. And uh, it seems we'll be an archer or something. Let's try this one this time. We'll be mobility. And uh, we'll have a face. And um, that's probably some nice touch. Oh, wait. We have to distribute points. I guess an archer will need agility, but we already have that. Perception. Uh, let's get some more endurance. And some speed. Probably some more perception. Uh, let's see. X. Oh wait, critical strike. And uh, 
I should just have loaded the game, I guess. Oh, let's keep that at average. And, um... Four hundred years after Cybertech's reign, the beginning will meet the end, and the bloody circle will close at the Empire of Gabriel. The unworthy heirs of the Tetsuken dynasty have allowed the bond of the Empire to weep. It actually runs pretty well at 30 megahertz, but... Blah, blah. Imperial Palace. Oh, I did not know the game had... But none may know of this meeting. Video. The nature of my trouble is darker still. Hmm. Actually having the tutorial as a choice is a really nice touch. I should have thought about that in the later games. Uh oh. Did it just... Oh, I thought it crashed. Guess not. Well, this looks good to me. WSD controls. Nice. And it even has a map. Well, I think we can consider this a success. And I'll just save a new game. This video is probably long enough now, but as you can see, the new call looks very promising. So, if we also add Super VGA, then it's really going to to make a huge difference. I guess there's one more thing we can just do, which is Windows 95, and um, see how well it runs. And it actually shouldn't have any trouble with audio. So if you run games through Windows, um, you can just keep it at 100 megahertz. But it does require Windows to support those games. And on the last call, Windows was really, really slow. But it's much improved now. Um, if I can just get this mouse to work. Ah, it was still loading, I guess. But yeah, it seems to run quite well with these standard things. Um, and also, 
I've tried Minesweeper, but I haven't tried installing much yet. Um, I do have the Windows 95 version of not Total Commander, which is like Norton Commander, but for Windows. For some reason, it didn't accept my my registration key. Maybe I copied it wrong or something. But it's a minor inconvenience because you can just click one of the three numbers. Mm. I guess we can try to see how it runs game here. Oh yeah, we do have Windows 95 games here, so... I don't remember if it has something special. Let's just see how this handles for the fun of it. Something off. And here it has no music problems, and you can keep it at 100 megahertz. And I actually suspect we can get it to play StarCraft and such. Wait, StarCraft does also require Super VJ, but if the next update has that, then uh, then that should work. It's nice how it actually still runs at full speed even though we are inside Windows. Mm. Oh yeah, I have the 1.1 patch here, but then it probably requires a CD and... Uh, yeah, I guess that could work in Windows because uh, my plan is to try to install... either alcohol 120% or demon tools, but for now they uh, complain about um, here some USB supplement and I can say yes to downloading it but it can't detect internet not that it actually even has internet right now but I'm not even sure it installs it it uh, supports internet I think it does but then I also need to install the drivers for it so I'm thinking about installing Windows 98 on it and see how that goes since it runs so well now well I hope you like the video thanks for watching and um, I'll uh, try to uh, answer any questions in the comments um, otherwise try to check the face group groups for the um, FPGA mister or the forum for the FPGA mister um, bye again